car roads using sandpaper. In this demo I would like to quickly show you how to use sandpaper, a 1200 grit silicone carbide waterproof abrasive paper also known as emery paper or water paper which has a color very similar to the tar roads in our area and I've glued a section down on a piece of polystyrene or foam just for demo purposes. You will need for this uh, firstly a pencil to mark out the area of the road that you want to do and cut that from the sandpaper. Then also I have found two uh, very fine 0.04 millimeter fine liners or sharpies as they call them in America uh, felt tip pens but the felt tip is very very small and they are in a gray dark gray and a light gray but it comes out almost black on the tar paper and then also we'll be using a few paint brushes preferably with quite stiff bristles and a toothpick or two some tacky glue and some greenery um, yeah I have got some ground up florist foam but you can also use fine commercial like Woodland Scenics or Noch or one of those manufacturers greenery and then finally but not last uh, this is pastel chalks that I use as my weathering powder and I store it in a pull container. There is a picture of what the powder looks like. Cracks to the tar to make it more realistic. Here we use the fine liners or sharpies and most tar will have a few random cracks just running across it. Normally in a straight tish line and like little spider veins running away from the main crack and perhaps one more piece over there going and then from the opposite side also a nice big crack and let's see there and just randomly have a look as you're driving around on tar roads how the cracks form and look and when the tar road is repaired uh, normally it leaves a patch of tar in a different color in a square shape and this is done by simply drawing a square shape and coloring it in with the sharpie or with the fine liner making a repaired patch in the road and that looks quite like the road in our area except there are some potholes as well that we will not add in this demo some greenery to the cracks because a lot of times there are some greenery growing through the cracks in the road and it exposes the soil underneath it so we just add a few dabs of tacky glue and then we use our foam and we just pour that onto the glue just rub it across because it is very very small pieces that normally protrude as there are cars traveling over it and the greenery does not survive being driven over very well and then we simply tap off the, the balance of the green and blow away the rest and if you look very very closely you will see there are some greenery growing through the, the crack in the road but that is still not finished because there's a lot of dirt and soot and uh, rubber being left on the road by the cars traveling there and normally you'll find the middle of the road has got quite a bit of oil and dirt from the cars traveling there which is represented by black let me find my weathering powder
and there we use the stiff brush and we get some of the black and we will run that down the middle of the road let's go on this side and then we just blend it in into the road quite nicely and we normally find where the wheels have traveled the tar gets a bit lighter so there we use a gray powder and we just dab the gray on very lightly gently where the wheels have traveled and then using a quite a stiff brush we also just work that in and to blend that a finger rubbing over it will definitely lighten it make it more realistic and if you're not happy with the result you can always wash it off because it is chalk and it does not adhere very well to the water paper when it is wet but I think this is looking not too bad and then on the edge of the road we find some dirt always uh, blown there by the wind and whatever Curbstones can be added using strip wood or uh, styrene strips painted to the appropriate color and then also some of the method for the greenery just a few dabs of glue and you add some greenery and shrubbery there but for the dirt to the edge of the road I normally use a mixture of a few of the colors a uh, bit of rust brown and a bit of the gray and a bit of the black and this time I'm also going to add some white to it and you mix the the chalk up a bit I'm just doing it on the polystyrene here get it onto the brush and then you cover the edge of the road with that you can see it's ever so subtly changing the edge of the tar just bringing a different color to that tar that it doesn't look like it's right up to the edge a bright black and then of course you can do the same on the opposite side and to detail it you can add some manhole covers and uh, some vehicles etc etc but that is just to give you the idea of how to do a, um, a basic tar road with some cracks and a bit of weathering